It's now time for what you've been waiting for, the reveal. Hit the button. Let's get started. Hey there, hi there, ho there. Andrew here, the horror host of Generations X, Y, and Z inside Davis Manor. Where we find humor in horror and... We are continuing our Halloween Horror Nights number 28's coverage with my role being revealed. And as some of you might have known, since you've been watching the channel since 2015, I go ahead and I sprinkle out a little bit of clues in the info and insights uh, that I do for Halloween Horror Nights on where I'm going to be. And uh, if you haven't watched any of the Halloween Horror Night uh, 28 videos, let me pause for self-promotion. You can go ahead, click that link uh, there. It's going to give you all the videos of... All the houses, the scare zones, anything that deals with this year's event right here, uh, HHN 28 in Orlando. And instead of explaining the clues of where I put them in and, and making it a really long and drawn out video, um, I have gone ahead and I've made a highlight reel instead. And thanks to the patrons of the channel, I've been able to expand my video editing and production skills, so to speak. And I made this, uh, this, a little highlight reel, kind of have a, an 80s vibe to it. The uh, the colorings change a little bit. There's a, a horizontal line that goes through. I'm, I'm kind of impressed with what I've done. Anyways, it's basically you're watching a, a TV screen and it's going to be a, a video reel uh, with a remote clicking through uh, the different clues. So I hope that you enjoy it. And without further ado, let's go to the clues of the highlight reel. I am located as one of those frightfully fun scare actors that jump out and say boo to you. Not a scare actor that's six foot tall. I'm a clown. Think more on the long lines of puppet. Gotcha. At least I hope I did. Um, there's so many people out there that uh, don't uh, get a chance to experience Halloween Horror Nights. And so I wanted to go ahead and try and scare you at least once. Uh, through the uh, the screen. So, hopefully it worked. If it did work, if it didn't work, leave a comment down below. I want to know. Uh, I'd, I'd love to, to hear uh, from you. So, if you have not guessed by now, I am in the house poltergeist. That is right. And as I continue to explain my role here, let me give a big shout out to the patrons of the channel here that are scrolling by right now. As I've said before, it's thanks to the patrons that I have developed my video uh, editing skill, my video production skills. If you... Go back and watch one of my first videos to now. Completely different, hopefully for the better. At least I think it is. So uh, if you want to join, uh, be part of the show. If you want to make decisions on future projects uh, with me. If you want to gain behind-the-scenes access, get exclusive content, uh, receive merchandise, all that other stuff. Go ahead and click the link above. Link in the description box below or at the end of the video. See what it's like. Go ahead, check out the rewards, check out the goals, see what we're uh, we're doing on the on the Patreon channel or on the Patreon page of the channel. Uh, I would love to have you part of the team and and join me on this journey. Now, getting back into my role, as uh, the clue stated, I am not a scare actor per se, but rather a puppeteer, and that means I'm controlling one of the puppets in the house of Poltergeist. Now, I don't want to tell you exactly where I am because I don't want to ruin the scare. Much like if I would have told you which where I was as Leatherface in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it would have ruined the scare there uh, back in, in 2016. So I don't want to do that. But in true Andrew R. Davis form, there is a clue somewhere in this video. I'm not telling you where the clue is, but there is a clue. Now, I will tell you this, though. If you're doing Halloween Horror Nights number 28 at all this year, Poltergeist is a must-go-through. And I'm not saying just because I'm in the house. I personally walk the, the house, uh, throughout the house, lights on when nothing was going on. I've gone through when uh, the uh, the other cast was nailing it, uh, going in with their scares. Uh, the sets on this house are beautiful. The costumes are unbelievable. And the story uh, of the show direction in this maze, as it flows all the way to the end, 
you just have to see it for yourself. I mean, it, it's amazing. And if you've watched my videos in the past, you know that I'm a huge fan of Poltergeist uh, because it was the first horror movie that I saw as a kid. And it scared me as a child. It stuck with me. And really, it kind of puts my horror journey in, in really full circle, if, if you think about it. It's kind of poetic. I mean, it's it's the, the horror movie that, that started my 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 love of horror to I'm being part of horror, I guess you could say. So I, I will say when I was originally cast for this house, I thought to myself, well, I don't look like anybody in this film. Why am I in Poltergeist? And that's okay with me uh, because uh, with my role, you're not going to see me at all, which can be a bummer, uh, you know, because I want to, uh, I want to physically see you face to face, but I can't do that uh, when I'm working behind the scenes. Uh, this, however, gives me a whole new uh, level, a whole new set, basically, of scare skills. And uh, so not only have my video skills uh, improved over this journey as we are taking this together in this channel, but so have my scare skills. And they've adapted and they've evolved as well. And actually, I'm really excited uh, for it. Uh, seriously, for for those that have that just feel that poltergeist isn't scary by today's standards, like it hasn't gone through the test of time because this was a 1982 film, go through the house. You will think differently uh, when you are out of the house if you can find your way out of the light and get out of the house. <laughs> That was a little creepy. So my question uh, for you here is, what are your thoughts on puppets used for scares at Halloween Horror Nights? Um, puppets have been a part of Halloween Horror Nights for a while now. I mean, there were puppets in the uh, uh, for aliens in the Alien vs. Predator house. Uh, puppets used for the werewolf in American Werewolf in London. Uh, Crocolion in Tomb of the Ancients also, which was a very uh, popular character in Scare. Uh, there have been plenty in the past already. So leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your thoughts uh, on that. Make sure you hit the red subscribe button as well if you have not subscribed already. So you don't miss out on any of the HHN stuff that I do. Or any of the other uh, horror movie reviews or anything else that, that I do for that matter. And of course become part of the notification squad by clicking the bell icon. That way you get notified the moment that I upload. And I will see you in the next video.